All right, over here at Hive 4, routine inspection, check in to see how the colony is doing. If my memory serves me correctly, they had a mature capped queen cell in on one of the frames on the top box, or in the top box. I marked the top of the frame, so it should be pretty easy to remember where that cell is and see if it's hatched out yet. That was about a week ago. And then I've decided to reduce the colony down to a single deep. So after checking that swarm, um, I think it was a super cedral cell actually, maybe a swarm cell. I'll make the best 10 frames down into the brew chamber in the bottom box, move the queen excluder in between the two deeps, and then run the colony as a deep and a medium, or maybe this is actually a shallow uh, honey supers, just to maximize my honey harvest this year. So like usual, enough of me yapping. Let's give them some smoke and get into the colony and see how they're doing. Super's kind of light. Uh, yeah, I'm not even gonna really mess with that. There's not too many bees in there, so. All right, found all the bees. Let me go see if I have a deep frame in my box over there because I'm gonna I'm also gonna run it as a deep super but I'm gonna run it as a nine frame just to see if they really can build out the, the frames this year. This frame here, this one that I hate because the foundation falls through it, that is a thing of the past. In my opinion, these are the better frames where the foundation snaps into the top bar and actually I it backwards. put it into the bottom bar first. That's recessed. And snap it into the top because these frames have a solid bottom bar, unlike that other one that has a slot through it, which I don't know what the purpose of that is really. Some people might like them, which is fine. Not for me. But as you can see, maybe you can see, the queen cell is right there in the center frame and in the center of that frame as well. I don't know why the bees love the Especially in the older comb. So they're queen right. They're queen right for sure. There are a lot of eggs throughout here. So now, if I can find the queen, that would be great. I really want to see if this queen cell hatched out. And it looks like. Oh, it looks like I just tore it apart because it was attached to the frame next to it. I'll show you that in a second. So 
so that's fantastic. Huh? Okay. Look at that cannibalism in its finest. That'd be right there eating, uncapping one of the larvae, which is concerning. I noticed that in another hive too. I don't think that's something you definitely want to see because that means there's some other issues going on. Maybe the mite count is high. This could be a variety of things. Yeah, so this kind of sucks. So even though I marked where that queen cell is, I think I just did that, but the fact that the bees moved in so fast, maybe they decided to uncap it anyway, and I just assumed that I ripped it apart just now. Maybe they were already uncapping it because they determined they had a queen or have a queen. I would like to see, so 
though. Just gotta keep looking. Hopefully find some more, or at least better signs that they have between and everything.
when you're reducing a, a double deep down to a single or any size boxes down to a single, if you're not sure where the queen is, all you got to do is come out. One, two, three, four, all you got to do is come out in a few days. Uh, basically, try and look for eggs. Whatever box you find eggs in, that's where your queen's at. If she happens to be in the top box. At that point, all you have to do is look for some eggs. Bottom box, so they build behind the All right, thanks for watching everybody. Five, number four. Not entirely sure what's going on with that colony as far as being queen right. I thought I destroyed the queen cell when I moved the frame next to it because it looked like it was stuck to it, but then it, on the other hand, the bees may have started to uncap that cell or chew it out to kill it because they had a queen. And the reason I say that is because I found some eggs on a previous frame, but then on the other other hand, those may have been eggs or a frame that I moved from another hive that attempts to get this hive queen right. So, big old TBD on this one. I'll just have to check back in another five days, see if I find any eggs or the queen at that point, and if I don't, I'll just have to figure out uh, what to do next, which is probably move a frame from another colony in another attempt to get them queen right but hopefully they are queen right and I don't have to do any of that because they are bringing in pollen and sometimes it's a safe assumption that if a colony is bringing in pollen it's because they're feeding larvae so again I'll just have to check back in a week and see what they're up to all right, well, that does it for now. Routine hive inspection and reduce the colony down to a single deep. So now, the top, the top box is gonna act as a super, and I ran it as a nine frame. That's a first for me. I usually have 10 full frames in there. And then a shallow up top, which does have 10 frames. So we'll see how it goes. Always can hope for the best, but uh, you know, you just gotta come out here weekly, tend to the bees and help them along. Thanks for watching everybody, Coles Farm. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. And if you hit the bell, you'll receive notifications of future videos. Alright, well, until next time, thanks again for watching.